Paano kapag sobra kang nahihirapan sa buhay, kaya mo pa rin bang pasalamat? Bago mo sagutin yan, panoorin mo muna ang video na ito hanggang ngayon. O bago ka sa channel ko at di mo pa ako kilala, ako nga pala si Brenda ang inyong Gaya Creation and welcome to my channel. Naturally, madaling gawin ang magpasalamat o maging grateful kapag okay ang lahat sa buhay mo. Pero paano kapag nahihirapan ka ng sobra? Ang hirap mong pasalamat, hindi ba? I'm doing this video dahil alam ko ang hirapan ka ngayon. Sa gitna ng COVID pandemic nito, alam kong pagod ka na sa kakaisip kung paano itawid ang pamilya mo sa bawat araw ng dadaan. Ang dami ng tanong sa isip mo ngayon. Paano kapag tulong niya na magsara ang kumpanya mo o di na mag-survive ang negosyo mo? Paano kapag wala ka ng trabaho o naubos na ang supply so pero mo? Paano ka makapaghanap trabaho kayo yung ang dami ng mga tanggala ng trabaho, di ka naman basta nalang makakalabas. Paano kapag nagubuti mo ang pamilya mo at ang kasakit? Saan ka pa kukuha ang pambili ng gamot? Ang dami talagang tanong at nauubusan pa rin ang sabot. Wala ka ng ibang maisip ko di sisihin si COVID at sisihin ang lahat na nasa paligid mo. Nature kasi ng tao yan, hindi ba? Pag-isip mo sa umaga ang init na nauubusan mas mainit pa sa kape na di mo naman may timbla dahil tubig na lang ang natirang meron ka. Kaya mo pa kaya magpasalamat sa sitwasyon nito? Ang hirap sagutin ng oo. Pero alam mo bang ang simple pagpapasalamat ay may doon na effect ito na makakatulong para solusyonan ang problema mo? Yes, gratitude or being grateful or being thankful ang magpapalaya sa iyo sa masakit na emosyon na nararamdaman mo. Ito ang magpapagaan ng bibig mo at ng ulo mo at makakadagdag ng energy mo. But gratitude is a practice. It's a way of life. Isa itong disposition sa buhay. Mahirap gawin sa ngayon, pero ang maganda dito, kaya mo siyang pag-aralan. Pero paano mo nga ipasok sa sistema mo kaya sobra ka na mamagigirapan? Sabi ni Jane Ransom in her TEDx talk, Meron daw ang 3 case of gratitude which are in more extend and exercise. Sabi naman ni Brian Tracy, there are four A's of expressing gratitude. At ito ang appreciation, approval, admiration, and attention. Sinubukan ko pang magbasa at maghanap ng iba't ibang sources of information para makabuo ako ng mga paraan na sobra ako makakarinig on how to be grateful even in great suffering. Na sa tingin ko naman, makakarinig ka rin dito at ito yung 6 steps na nabuo ko from different sources. Pagkatapos mong panoorin ito, kung meron kang naisipang ideas na sa tingin mo, dapat idagdag sa 6 steps na ito, pakicomment naman sa baba para ma-improve ko naman ang 6 steps na ginamit ko. So, step number 1, acknowledge your nothingness. Yes, you have to acknowledge first your nothingness. Alisin mo yung lahat na nasa isip mo. Yung parang wala kang makita. Wala kang maramdaman at wala kang isip. Bakit mo nga ba pinakarga ang lahat sa isip at kaluuban mo? Wala ka pa namang solusyon sa ngayon, di ba? Sabi sa isang quotation from Thomas Merton, he says, Surrender your own poverty and acknowledge your nothingness to the Lord. Whether you understand it or not, God loves you, is present in you, lives in you, dwells in you, calls you, saves you, and offers you understanding and compassion which are like nothing you have ever found in a book or heard in a sermon. Religious ka man o hindi, naiintindihan mo man o wala, subukan mo lang. Just surrender your own poverty and acknowledge your nothingness to the Lord. Tandaan mo, lahat ng meron ka ngayon, hindi sa'yo yan because we are just stewards of God's property. Kahit nga talent and skills mo, kahit profession mo, kung meron man, galing pa rin yan sa kanya. Tapos sasabihin mo, hindi ah, pinaghirapan ko to. Pero ang tanong, kung di ka ba naman binigyan ng utak na nakakaintindi, kung good health para matapos ng profession mo, meron ka kaya niyan ngayon? So do you think mahirap gawin ang tanggapin na ikaw ay galing sa wala? There's really nothing for you to brag or to get mad at your situation. So tandaan mo, Step number one is to acknowledge your nothingness. Step number two, don't shoot your second arrow. Narinig niyo na ba yung Buddhist parable na the second arrow of suffering? 
Sabi sa Buddhist parable na to, Every time you suffer misfortunes, two arrows fly our way. The first arrow is the actual bad event, which can indeed cause pain. The second arrow is the suffering which is actually optional. The second arrow represents our reaction to the bad event. Isang practical example based on actual experience. Halimbawa, nasa bus terminal ka at umiulan. Tapos, dali-dali kang tumawag ng taxi para di ka mapasa. Kung aktong sasakay ka na sana, bigla kang madapa sa may putikan sa mismong harapan pa ng maraming tao. Iyang hiya ka at galit ka sa sarili mo dahil sa pagkaklamsi mo. But then, worst thing, di talaga maalis sa isip mo ang pangyayari mo. At every time na aalala mo yun, nagagalit ka sa sitwasyon at nagagalit ka sa sarili mo instead of analyzing and improving yourself. Ang first arrow, yung pagkadapa mo mismo, which is di mo talaga maiwasang mangyari. Ang second arrow, yung pagkagalit mo sa sitwasyon at sa sarili mo. Two pains yung nararamdaman mo, physical and mental. In the Buddhist code, it says, pain is inevitable but suffering is optional. Kaya don't choose to suffer if it's optional. Don't shoot your second arrow. Bumangon ka. Learn the lesson no matter how hard it is. Then try to move on. Step number three, grieve with gratitude and capture it. Ang first three steps ang pinakamahirap gawin. Pero itong step number three talaga ang napakahirap sa tatlo. Thinking of thankfulness at the darkest moment of your life. Kaya mo kaya yan? Say for instance, yung pinakamasakit na example, nawalan ka ng mahal sa buhay ng biglaan, maisipan mo pa kaya magpasalama? Can you still grieve with gratitude? Di kaya you will question God kung bakit siya pinuha? You will keep on questioning kung bakit nangyari ng di ko malang ng paghandaan? Mahirap, di ba? Pero again, kailangan talaga siya. Scientifically, There's an important part of your brain that will lighten up and attract positive energy if you try to practice grieving with gratitude. Ito yung part of the brain na tinatawag na Reticular Activating System or RAS in which I will explain in detail in my other videos. And if you could find one little thing each day to be thankful for, malalampasan mo talaga siya. When my father died ng biglaan 7 years ago, feeling ko talaga a part of me ay nag- Parang gumuna ang buong bahay namin dahil bumagsak ang halipin namin. We were lost, all of us, dahil sa sobrang close ang family namin at sa sobrang dependent namin in terms of decision making. I was really lost at di ko talaga alam kung sinong kakapitan ko that time. But I never really tried to question God kahit sobrang sakit. Nangama pa ako, yes, but I just cling to the fact that six years before that incident, Naging bidri din yung papa ko for months, to the point na pinagplanungan na ng ibang casual employee na katrabaho niya ang item niya sa government. But nung time na yun, I cried to God, asking Him to extend my father's life. Kahit paibawas sa haba ng buhay ko, sabi ko that time, and He was able to survive at naging healthy pa ulit and was able to enjoy His retirement. So nung kinuha ang papa ko ng biglaan, I tried to grieve with gratefulness. Who am I to complain? I have to be grateful for that six years. I need to remember it para matanggap ko yung bigla ang pagkawala niya. So if you're experiencing similar situation na yun, try to notice the one little thing that you can be grateful for despite the suffering you had now. This even at least one little thing you're grateful for. One step at a time lang and one day at a time. Then every time na down na down ka na, or confused, or hopeless, start to see all these little things na na-capture mo, and you will actually see big things that really give meaning to life. Keep a daily gratitude journal. Ilista mo, even sa point in your life that you don't really want to say thank you, maglista ka lang kahit isa sa isang araw lang. Some gratitude experts suggested at least three things a day, pero kapag sobrang brown out na ang buhay mo, sikapin mo lang maglista ng isa. Just one little thing one day at a time. By doing that, you will realize as days go by, it will become your habit that nararamdaman mo ang effect niya sa buhay mo. So, sumukan mo lang. Step number four, savor the emotion of gratitude. Nagawa mo na yung step one to three. Now, the next step is to savor the emotion of being thankful. 
try to review it from time to time until it sa umpisa, parang out of conscience lang yung pagiging thankful mo. Yung parang, yeah, thankful naman ako, pero, or kaya lang, or sana, yung may ganong words pa. But if you keep on savoring the emotion, later on, it will become your habit. You will be able to learn to celebrate mind accomplishment. You will be able to think of what you have rather than what you don't. Feel the emotion of gratitude with genuine belief and feeling. Try meditating. Ito yung sinasabi ni Jane Ransom na emo. Sabi pa niya, it's not enough to just think about gratitude. You've got to feel the emotion. Step number five, extend gratitude beyond yourself. After mo nang nararamdaman yung totoong emotion o being thankful, pwede mo na i-share sa iba. You cannot share what you don't have, ika nga. At dahil tapos ka na sa step 4, kaya mo nang mag-share. You can tell the people in your life something you appreciate about them. Even as simple as giving a smile to a stranger, this kindness of giving are connected to gratitude. Dito ko ina-apply yung sinasabi ni Brian Tracy na 4 A's of expressing gratitude, which are appreciate, take the opportunity to thank every person even for the little thing he or she does, approval, give praise for every effort or good suggestions or good ideas, admiration, compliment people on their traits, and attention, listen patiently, faithfully, and listen without interrupting. At ang sabi pa niya, by expressing gratitude to others in this way, you unwittingly increase your own happiness. So try extending gratitude beyond yourself. Step number six, do your daily gratitude exercise. Ito yung last step to do your daily gratitude exercise. Ito na yung pag-perform from step one to five on a daily basis. Make it a daily habit. Perform the first five steps on a daily basis and make it a part of your life. Then try to observe the positive effects that it can do to your life. In the Law of Attraction, it says three secrets of gratitude. One is unifying ourselves with the source energy. Second is it turns on the fountain of fulfillment and increase our frequency. And the third, our heart emits electromagnetic energy. And it says that our hearts is thousands more powerful than our head. According to Brian Tracy, even in the midst of the greatest difficulties you will experience in your life, you can always find things for which you are truly grateful. Kaya ano man ang pinagdaanan mo ngayon, subukan mo lang ang mga steps na to. It works for me and I'm sure it will also works for you. At kung sa tingin mo hindi mo talaga kaya, subukan mo lang. One step at a time and one day at a time and see for yourself the effects in your life. At kung nagustuhan mo ang video na to, just hit the like button sa baba and please subscribe also to my channel para magkausap naman tayo muli. At pakihit na rin ng bell button for you to be notified in my new videos. Tsaka ito pa, huwag mong kalimutan na naniniwala ako sa iyo at sa kamayahan mo. Kaya mga problema, normal yan kaya huwag kang susuko. Just continue to dream big, believe that you can do it, and just live one day at a time. I'll see you in my next video, sir. Thank you and bye-bye for now.